A schematic from a precision Schmidt trigger. I hope it's visible from this distance. So I'm going to move the camera somewhat closer. Um, this is the first part from the trigger. But here we have, in fact, the actual Schmidt trigger circuit. Well known in electronics. This is the first transistor from the trigger. The second transistor from the trigger. And when we vary the voltage here, uh, the trigger suddenly switches on or off. And that means that this relay here is activated. Um, I've used here now uh, fixed value resistors. In another circuit it was a potentiometer. And I've mounted a, an input transistor to get a positive switch effect. That means that when we vary the voltage here, uh, the trigger will suddenly switch the relay on or off. Here you see how it was made in real. It's a very sensitive circuit and here you see the 220 ohms potentiometer and with this potentiometer we can set the trigger to switch in this case between 20 and 30 volts. I want to demonstrate that now. Turn the potentiometer somewhat. I think something's wrong even. A moment. Yeah. Now I vary here with the potentiometer. Uh, the input, um, not the input voltage that's fixed, but the sensitivity where it uh, switches. And here you can see on which um, voltage it switches. I move the voltage up now, and now I move the voltage down. And here it switches, and it switches on one tenth or even one hundredths of a volt. So that's very precise. And even the variations here on the uh, carbon layer from the potentiometer have a certain influence. Um, and that's because it's so very sensitive. And that's the reason why I'm going to use a switch in the future with fixed value resistors uh, to prevent uh, micro changes in the voltage here on the carbon layer. And uh, the relay that you use um, decides whether you switch something on or off. One re uh, relay can make a contact or break a contact. So you can decide for yourself uh, whether you want to switch something on or off with the help of this trigger and also decide for yourself um, whether um, something is switched on or off when the voltage here varies and I mean goes up or goes down. When it um, goes beyond a certain low level something can switch on or off and when it gets higher over a certain level it you can switch something on or off and um, that's all done by the relay, by using a make or break relay. So normally on or normally off. Uh, 